Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today, we are on the ice. We have we spotted our way out. Uh, we fished the channel for just a little bit earlier, and uh, now we kind of made our way over to the other side of the lake here. So there's uh, about three inches, maybe four inches in spots out behind us, and uh, we haven't ventured out very far. But uh, stick with us, we're gonna get on the ice and get after some fish today. Still there. What is it? What is it doing? Like ice. The oh, whole thing like coming up. Come on, buddy, come back. I wasn't even paying attention. I was messing with the phone. Come back. Where'd you go? <laughs> no, don't Wait, leave. Did you lose the mark? Yeah, dude, you left. What's that? It was right little, whatever it was. It kind of came in from the side. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Now we're going to watch Colton struggles to put springs on the bottom of his feet. When your chair is sliding across when the ice. When my chair is sliding across <laughs> the ice. Let's see. Will it go in someone else's hole and will it sink to the bottom of the lake? Let's see. <laughs> So we're in like 11 feet of water right now. I'm fishing just above the weed tops. I can see the weed tops on the Vexlar here. But uh, this mark came in when I was playing with my phone and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. So he felt him tap twice and he was gone. That last hook set scared him away. It would have scared me away too though. Need help getting that on? Well, let's try one last time. Yeah, Whatever it was, it was like microscopic, dude. Yeah. Like I felt it tap. And, and, yeah. But who knows? It could have been freaking a pole gill too. Yeah. It could have been even a lot. I don't know. It wasn't. I don't know. It was a pretty healthy mark. Yeah. It could have been just a small walleye. Yeah. To be honest. That'd have been bomb, dude. I'm gonna fish for walleye here in a second. So I just need to get these cleats on. Which yeah. Draw them in with that rattle bait you got. Here from all the way up here. Yeah, we're sitting on, I mean, it's four inches, you know, four and a half, but uh, he's got a fire tiger rip and wrap, and every time he rips it, you can hear it. Let's see if you guys can hear it for the camera. You can hear it like echo out the holes and through the ice. It's crazy. I'm so excited to see that rod tip. Mm. You, if you're ripping that thing over there, dude, you'll, you'll draw something. Yeah. Or one of these pikes coming through here. If they uh, survive the, <laughs> if they survive the gauntlet of tip ups, maybe they'll come for your ribbon wrap. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe they'll come if they come through this side because there isn't many tip ups right now. Right. There's only one right there, one right there, and then one right over there, and then obviously hard to. Right. We're ice fishing. Dude, ice fishing. A date for my birthday. Right. Birthday ice fishing. Birthday ice fishing. That's the title of this video. Birthday ice fishing. Right. Let the except the, it's not your birthday; it's my birthday. Right. Let the fishing god smile upon you and provide you with many fish and lunch or dinner. Depends on when we leave. <laughs> Dude, that mark is gone, man. That is so dumb. Yeah, it's probably me. I actually probably hold that record. Ah! Dude, I bet you it's a little perch. Oh yeah. It's got to be a little perch. Or a little walleye. No, they're little. They're in the weeds. Yeah, but my perch. Because I see a little separation in there. I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, one spring is better than no springs. Let's see if I got my bait still. Oh, yeah. Can you put this off? Yep. Before it was unhooking fish, now it's springs. springs. This thing springs up and hits me in the face, dude. Don't even say fishing with kids. <laughs> I almost did. 
I was almost like fishing with kids. I thought it and then I didn't say it and then you said it. So I was like, okay, now it's alright. There you go. Alright, thank you. Get springs. Alright. Yay, yeah, I'm a springy boy. Ow. Fishing with kids. <laughs> you knew I was going to say it at some point. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that sea viper lived. Think about how loud that's going to be. Got one. What? Got one. Take your drag. Are you, are you stuck on the ice? Yeah, you don't. It's not a fish, baby. You're stuck on the ice. No? No? Well, don't break it off. No? What are you stuck on? Weed. Oh. I thought it was a fish. I Tight. got so excited. Get your drag adjusted. Because that, that was crazy loose. Fish is like, see you bye. That could have been a fish. It could have been a fish. I almost got excited there. And remember, if you want good quality shirts like this and the shirt that's underneath this, go to tiredaxoutdoors.com and order yourself a hoodie. Kid knows what he's talking about. Well, not a hoodie yet. We don't have hoodie yet. Hoodies, hoodies yet. are coming soon, though. Hoodies are coming very soon. Say with hats, maybe beanies. Yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> Smart kid. Cool. Yes. <laughs> perch Little baby perch. I, I told you it was what it was. Yeah. First fish, 2020, 2021 ice season. Is this monster right here? <laughs> Look at that. He's all coiled up on there. Dot jig co. Jig making it happen. Go get your big brother or your sister, or your mama. I don't mind. The small ones? Yeah, so you got the sucker minnows in there and you got the shiners. Oh, okay. So I put that shiner. Oh, is that all poop? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I, I throw my poop. Anyway, so it's bad. Oh, I don't want to touch it. Um, do you have a scoop? Uh -uh. What do you have for. Do you have any like bear hooks or anything? We weren't uber prepared this time. Yeah. Where are we? Because we could have brought like a bear hook and you could have just done a uh, like a set line with one of those shiner minnows. Yeah, I have the one of those Tico minnows. No, nah, that's too big. You could put a, if you get one of those little guys, you could pinch their head off and put a minnow head on there. Yeah, that's a good deal. Like the little tiny shiners, but. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Some of those boys are big. Yeah. Big bait, big fish. Except if we're not getting any flags, I don't know. Is it the hair there? Yeah. There's almost some like. It's got a propane. I'm just I'm wondering if we head this direction. There's yeah. like you know what I mean? Yeah, there's no one there. Because we caught, there's a weed bed right off, see, there, there's the dock. Because Colton, look. So here's the main dock. This is the boat launch, right? Yep. And just past here, there's that big weed basin right here. Yep. Where we were catching those bluegills this year. Yep. And they might be back into those weeds now. True. Fishing in grub. Right? Yep. Gotta have snacks. What's your favorite snack for ice fishing? Comment below on on Instagram. Right. Yeah, because you won't be able to comment on this video because he's here. It's just the way it goes. But you can comment on Instagram. I'm not even a kid anymore, technically. That's Tomorrow true. I'll be a preteen. Woohoo. True. But still. Then you guys can comment on the videos. I don't think it's all. Almost fell.
All right, guys, we are back at the car. We are loaded up and we are going to head out. We're going to cruise down to uh, Fridley and hit up Thorn Brothers. Heard they got some good sales going. But uh, thanks for checking out this episode, guys. Thanks for coming out fishing with us today. We had a lot of fun. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, every subscription helps. It really boosts us and, uh, you know, allows us to continue to make the content that, uh, that you guys are enjoying. So make sure you subscribe, turn on those bell notifications. Also make sure you share, throw it up on your Facebook page and, uh, show us a little bit of love here at Tired Axe Outdoors. So check us out over on Instagram, Tired Axe Outdoors, behind the scenes, day-to-day -day stuff. We post pictures every day on there. So go ahead and check that out on Instagram. And then also go check out tiredaxeoutdoors.com. Pick up your merch just in time for the holidays. Makes great gift items. And uh, all right, guys, you stay safe. We'll talk to you later. See you, bye.